here. Welcome back to some Age of Wonders 3 episode uh, something 6, I think. As we try, we try to get into enemy territory over here. There's an orc fella who wants a fight. We're going to bring one to him with two armies here. Parsia Maka and Malagus the Vagrant. I'm going to keep Lucius back in our own territory because many a time I've sent all of my armies into enemy territory and they manage to get one in behind to threaten you or someone else just randomly declares war on you. We do need another unit in this army. We're going to get the Eldritch Horror in there. I've just realized that I've left my cities on seeking knowledge even though we've got the Eldritch Horror, uh, which is not bad. I mean, re research is always good, but we, we would like some more stuff in these in these cities. So, same Han. We're going to get what? We do need some more defenses here because we've only got three units sitting in this in this town. So we're going to get a barracks up so we can actually get some half decent units up. And then, I guess we'll see. Maybe we'll just get the public baths up for some more morale. Try and get those nice events to spawn. Siege Workshop also has some usage with more production and unlocking the prismatic spire as you see there which is the defensive structure Biltan can stop seeking knowledge I think really high morale here very happy and I think we might get the wizards academy gives us some more research units summoned in this domain get an additional rank too which is nice and it's getting observatory for even more income can't lose sight of um, defense of our capital too because this is I mean it has six units in it but they're nothing special we can actually get some griffin riders here now so um, maybe we'll queue up a couple of those after those are finished Oathway you're going to stop researching so much I think and get we can get this and uh, actually what which of my cities has the highest production rate? I think it is Oathway. Yeah, 109 hammers is pretty damn good. So you're going to get that. And then we'll get some of this defensive stuff up. Enchanted Armory is so nice, but we don't have many armored units as, el as elves. I want to get this up. The Chamber of Mysteries so we can get those high elf storm maidens. So maybe I'll do that. Then Siege Workshop. And then Chamber of Mysteries. And Griffin Spire, actually. So lots of building to do over here. We might want to rush this thing, which takes some morale down a little bit, but we'll manage. In fact, we kind of want a hospital here, don't we? Unfortunately, it's kind of awkward to get things into these building queues. So let's get the siege workshop up, then the hospital, and then we'll revisit you. I mean, Crypt of On Life is 100 mana. Let's get it. We're getting 147 per turn here. And then Chamber of Mysteries. Yeah. Lucius, where are you heading? Are you going to get this buff from the shrine? I think everyone has moved already. I've messed up my camera again. I think I think it's every time I hit shift. So I keep hitting shift thinking it's going to speed up my camera movement. But it just sends it crazy. Let's end the turn. Eldritch Horror is two turns away from being summoned. We've got to make sure we don't spend any more of Marka's casting points in battle. So that she can actually get that thing out. Gustav is moving. Did not see Erla anywhere. Nope. So loot this send. In fact, we want to send Lucius here first to clear this up. Very likely victory. What is this? Some nightmares. Tier 2 animals. Maybe he can um, tame one of them. Which he probably won't. They won't use in his army, but they can go somewhere to defend things. And I think these guys have... Um, they probably like volcanic terrain and stuff, don't they? There's a hellhound. They must like volcanic terrain. Oh, these guys are dedicated to evil, though. Are they all dedicated to evil? So that would be annoying. Unholy champion and dedicated to evil. These guys will be alright, though. But we can't tame draconian flamers. Oh, well. We'll just kill them all, then. Uh, we'll send the high elf maidens. They don't have a lot of defense. So I don't want to be too aggressive with those guys. 
Griffin Rider can move up. Lucius himself is, I think, are we going to... I mean, he could use this as a buff, of course. Just for the plus 100 morale. Or we can use it as a heal. I think we'll save it as a heal. Uh, we're going to move him here. Then we're going to move the spiders up to here. So we can buff them with Awakened Spirit. We're trying to get these guys up to elite level. So that they turn into a rather nice Hunter Spider Queen. Fire Wyvern, which is a nice little unit. Some good damage on it. Inflict Scorching Heat too, but it's not the toughest thing around. At 11 defense and 56 hit points. Are you not... And you are Trooper as well. So that's more hit points than he would have had. He's very close to leveling. End this turn. And see what these fellas have for us. Here come the Hellhounds. They have Overwhelm, I think. And that was a flanking attack. Should have been a bit more careful with Lucius's placing there. Since he had to turn around to use that ability on the Hunter's Spiders. Babies. That kept him getting flanked. Okay, Wyvern took a hit, but actually leveled up. And Spiders, how much damage are you going to do? Uh, quite a lot, but you're also going to take quite a lot. Why do you have 60% fire protection? Where are you getting that from? Oh, oh, from the Shrine to the Scarlet Destroyer. We, al we already got that shrine. Previously, I think. Okay, so Aelf Storm Maiden is going to come here. And get some flanking attacks to this nightmare. Well, one flanking attack. The second attack will not be flanking because it turns around. That guy's lifesteal. Really? So we're going to get a nice kill on the wyvern here, maybe. There we go. We want to deal with these hellhounds. Or, do, or we want to deal with these guys, too, because they're going to keep throwing in those firebombs. So let's kill them with our griffin rider. Nice. I guess we just get some... Oh, we can try and web this guy. 65% chance. Resisted it. Damn you. Now I don't really want to attack with these spiders. Could get onto rear armor. Hmm. Really don't want these guys to die. I'm actually just... Oh, we could try and web them again. If they fail, at least these guys will have barely any movement left. Yeah, because... Look, I've given them absolutely no movement, actually, because of those two failed web, web attempts. So they shouldn't be able to attack me at all. This guy can. Ouch. Oh, there he goes. Got one attack off, the little sod. I think it lets you always do at least something, kind of thing. Can't do another webbing touch. Might have to heal himself or something. That's just going to kill the Hellhound. Damn it. How am I going to get my spiders to actually do damage here? This might kill the nightmare, depending on our roll. Not quite. Leveled up my griffin rider, though. What are you up to now? You are veteran rank. Now you have inflict bleeding wounds. High elf storm maiden is going to charge this guy. And maybe get a kill? You can only use the buff on elf units, right? Yeah. Let's get this. Didn't quite get a kill. And this guy can't actually get close enough. We are going to bring you up. Now what do we do? We could just try and... We can't. We could just try and tame this guy and take it out of the fight. But uh, what's the point of that when you can just use his turn to get a kill? Which is what we're going to do. Lucius might go down. Oh, he levels up. But uh, that will be alright. We're going to, I think... Teleport on rear armor, get some flanking attacks because that guy will most likely go for my hero. So the spider should be relatively safe. There we go, goes for the hero. And we can get some, get a kill and hopefully not die ourselves. Yay, leveled up again. So that should be up to expert level now, those spiders. Yes, they are expert level. One more level and they would evolve. So what the hell is this thing? Shrine to the Frozen Beauty bestows visiting units with Arctic Concealment and Arctic Walking for 8 turns. And Frost Aura for the next battle adds plus 10 knowledge when in your domain. Okay, so it gives us some little buffs. This is a Ziggurat which is mythical. Gives plus 30 gold when in your domain and Blood Altar. What is that? 
City has mashed up population growth, but will not suffer happiness benefit from high reproduction. Support units get mark blood sacrifice. You can, of course, use um. Where are they? You can use builder units to build roads and also to build forts that can that you can use to kind of uh, get territory and get some income from the things. A builder unit which and would, would actually not be too bad. We could get a road between our three cities here, which would help out mobility wise. So we might look into that at some point. Maybe after all that is done, get a build up. It does cost you gold per hex to build the um the roads though. Okay, research. Could should we get scales of fortune now? Double chance to Crypt is pretty damn nice. Old Dread Omen is pretty damn nice as well. 40 mana per turn, but you're usually casting it on a city that you're just about to attack, so you'll only you won't take too many turns of that 40 mana per turn. And that is a massive debuff to a city. Lots of good choices. We could just get more casting points. Which is always good. Our kind binding is good too. If I find another unit on a battlefield of magical origin or summoned, I can try and take control of it. Let's get Dread Omen, so I can debuff whatever city I run into from Erlag, assuming I'm in a position to attack it. Leveling up here is Lucius, and now we can get Call Ancestral Spirits, because we actually have enough casting points to cast the thing. So we'll do that. Might look into making Lucius a bit of a spellcaster over here. Got some good druidy spells. Yeah, need some more casting points though. And Lucius can come and grab this. In fact, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what's inside the Ziggurat. Probably not something we can deal with, but we'll, but we'll have a look. Farsia. Move up. Here's Erlag's border. Oh, we should have a look at what's in here. Sunken City. Oh, with a Wraith King. And a frigate. A Wraith and a Banshee. We could probably deal with it. Should we do this? I mean, you'll be alright in the water. Everyone will be alright in the water pretty much apart from the Storm Sister and you. And these Wraith Kings are awesome. Inflict Brain Rot. They also steal life. Good melee damage. Not a huge amount of defense. They're incorporeal though. Damn. Which means 60% less physical damage so these guys aren't going to do a huge amount okay we'll try it it might be a huge mistake but i want i want to try and maybe get some units out of this thing as a reward that'd be pretty nice oh and there's a frigate as well that might be painful i mean it's only a tier two but it is a a water unit volley of flaming arrows that wasn't good the wraith units are moving up there's a wraith and a wraith king and Banshees, which have a nasty whale. Whale of Despair. These are actually Necromancy units, Banshees. I don't think the Wraiths are Necromancy units. They are kind of generic undead fellas. I think that's right. I could be completely wrong. Yeah, because the Deathbringer is the Necromancer Tier 3. Lost Mariner. You're going to move up and shoot this Banshee, I guess. What else can you do? You could shoot a Wraith King instead. I want to take the Banshees out, though, because this... Whale is annoying. Okay, so we're gonna go here with the. Oh no! That was not the Lost Mariner at all, you moron. That was the Phantasm Warriors who are now not able to do anything. Good one. Because I get confused by this, where it tells me to press C to go to the next unit. That's actually the unit it's talking about. Malgus, what can you do in terms of spells? You've got Last Stand. Which could be useful on a Griffin Rider or summer. You could, oh, you've also got Web in Touch, of course, from your spider. This, uh, you can't affect the Wraith Kings, though. I'm guessing you can't affect a boat, either. We are going to put Last Stand on the Griffin Rider. Who's our highest level one? You. So you're going to be the one that goes in. So that's not a lot of damage because of the um, incorporeal stuff. That's annoying. Don't have a lot of health though. I guess we go in. 
We're going on the Banshee because we get two attacks here. But that Phantasm Warrior misplay is very annoying. Lost Mariner. Oh, you can hurl nets. What's the range on it? It's pretty good range too. So what I'm going to do is move you here, which is kind of in a lot of trouble, but we need you to do some work for us. We can't net any of this stuff though. We're going to get some damage here. And hopefully finish them off with you. Oh, you can't quite do it. Storm Sister though might be our saving grace here with their air damage. Don't want to get too close to Malgus though with his questionable hygiene. Oh no, line of sight penalty and range penalty. But it might make him low enough. Oh, if we roll high. Didn't roll high. Not a good turn for us. Didn't not take out anything. And now a lot of our stuff is open to flanking attacks. And we messed up our Phantasm Warrior turn. See? If we moved the Phantasm Warrior in there to attack, that would have killed the Banshees for sure. This is probably a dead Griffin Rider now. Yes, the Griffin Rider is down. Can take out. Wow. Phantasm Warriors are good for killing stuff here. Malgus. Do we do more last standing? Can't use our net. We can actually move away here without getting attack of opportunity for some reason. Why? Not sure why. Can we throw the net on the boat? We can, but there's a line of sight panel. It's just only 20%. That would be pretty useful, actually, if we can get around that line of sight penalty by moving here, say. I think that's worth it. Only 4% chance. Come on. Damn it, resisted. Okay. So we're just going to use, I think, Malgus to move up and get a crossbow shot and finish off this guy. Oh, he might not even be able to do it. So let's get... That's going to make... It's going to debuff our Mariners if we move here and get that shot in. But we might have to just do it. So we can guarantee the kill. Phantasm Warrior. You're just going to move in, mate. Because you've got pretty good... Pretty good protection against what these guys are doing. And you have some air damage. So let's go for these Tier 2 rates. And it's leveled up. You're still in play. You can get some flanking attacks on these wraiths. And that might be enough to finish them off with the help of the um, Storm Sisters here. Oh, of course, you can do Stunning Touch, but you're not quite close enough to do that. Go here. Line of Sight penalty. But it might be enough to finish them. Yay. See, I want to avoid using the, the skills of my, my uh, leader here to keep her casting points intact. So we've lost the Griffin so far, which is not great. He's trying to move after our Mariners. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Mariners are alive somehow, but might go down here. Oh, the Mariners go down. They did so well for us during this game. Really messed up that first turn with that Phantasm Warrior misplay. But we should be able to clean up here a little bit. What's my stun chance? Can't be affected by stuns, eh? What about this? There's some effect. Okay. So we're going to get the kill there, finally. Charge in with our... Oh, nice crit there. And Phantasm Warrior can go in too. Not sure, does this guy actually have a melee attack? Is this a melee attack? It is, a ram. So we lost two units. You better get something good out of this dungeon. What level are you, Griffin Rider? You're already elite. You could get champion level. What about you? Go still recruit. Get some XP on you then. Nice. Pandas of Warrior doing some work for me there. Give me something good, please. We got a Kraken, which is a tier 4 month. Can it come on land though? I don't even know if it can. Can the Kraken come on land? I don't think it can. I think it's water only. It must be, right? Man. Gave me a tier 4. But do I want something that can only go on land? Don't really want freeze water. The knowledge is alright. But I might just take the gold here. Because I don't have a huge amount of use for purely aquatic units. Damn it. 
I wish it let me. I can't even look at the encyclopedia thing over there. We're just gonna sell for gold, I think. 400 gold is a lot. Well, that sucked. Was it worth losing those two units for 400 gold? I don't think it was. We're gonna have to get some serious summons. Oh, Malgus's thing hatch, which is why we saw him on the spider there. His item has arrived, it's already in place. Yes, it is. Things being produced. Not the best turn ever, but we'll march on. Into the next turn. I want to see what's in here. Give me something mental, I think. Erlag's moving. I hear things. He's got some. He's got two unexplored tombs in his territory. I don't want to explore them because that would give him that would give him the benefit of them since they're in his territory. We've got our first ogre. I wish I could send this ogre up to Malgus, but it would take him so long to get there. We've got Dread Omen now. Summon Zephyr Bird. This is only a tier. It's a tier one. I don't want that. Hmm. Scales of Fortune, maybe. Just throw it on, on um, our two producing cities to give everything double crit chance. Could be worth it. But I kind of just want more sorcery right now. Let's do that. Let's see what's in here in this ziggurat. Got to be tier 4 stuff, right? A mythical level. Yes, it's a manticore. Two manticores. Berserkers. That's a tough fight that we're not going to take right now. With baby spiders in our army. Definitely not taking that. So I'm going to move you towards this. I think this Lost, lost Library has been explored, yeah. I can't really get any bonuses there. Not really much else for us to clean up. We could clean this up. But I think Lucius needs to be a bit stronger for that. There's a gold mine there we could take out for a bit of gold or something there. Not a huge amount else. This looks like it's been explored as well. Hmm. Marker. This is unfortunately not an inn. So I can't hire things out of there. Let's get Malgus up and uh, stay together. If we stick together, if one of us gets attacked, the other will join. But we're not gonna we're not gonna go in until we have at least one of these Eldritch Horrors out. Yeah, you're right. And that's the, the end of our turn, I think. We got some gold. So we could start rushing some stuff up like this. And that's already next turn, okay. Decent gold income. Eldritch Horror is ready to go. Here stuff. Don't have the greatest defense here, but the Lucius is there to reinforce. And we have that Glyphs of Warding up. Eldritch Horror is ready to go. Is it going to be a Paragon? I think it is. There's Marker. In it goes. And it is the Paragon. Yeah, what bonus does he get? Okay. Paragon gives resurgence plus 10 hit points plus one defense plus one resistance. That is pretty awesome. And here is our Eldritch Horror looking pretty awesome. Got big melee damage on four channels thanks to Marker's army buff. He's got Shock Breath, which is basically a cone attack of air damage. Dominate can take control of stuff, which can give you some units if you're if they're still alive and you're still under control of them at the end. At high strength too. Pretty awesome stuff. Okay, do we get another one? It's going to be another three turns though. What we might do is get some node serpents up. So that's much quicker. And we could put maybe a couple of those in Malagus's army, but one of those and an Eldritch would be much nicer. We're not actually going to move with these guys, I don't think. And I could have a look out here and then come back with the Hasteberry buff. Oh, a couple of dudes down there. What have we got? 
Orc Phalanx. This is their tier 3 pipe rune unit. The best pipe rune in the game. First strike, pole arm, all that good stuff with some really good stats. And Victory Rush, that's an orky thing. It's armoured, he's shielded. We've also got Monster Hunter tier 2. We've got orky units as well. Nothing too strong. What is this? The Black Priest, that's the tier 3 mounted support from that mod I have. That's the orc one. Orc version of it. We might be... Oh, we can't. We don't have the movement to go and fight those guys. Would be nice if we did. Okay. We'll just keep you guys there. Confirm army movement for Lucius. Yep. Go and grab that thing. We're going to go and grab this with our defending army too. So whenever there's a problem, they'll have those buffs. What do we try and clean up with Lucius. We want to keep him busy. I guess we can come up here and just clean out these things, get some gold. A little bit of gold if nothing else. So what are you getting now? You're getting some more ogres. Okay, let's maybe cancel these. And start looking at this thing. What's this? Alright, gives everyone Dragon Slayer. I should rename this place Stonbulk. I don't want it to be named after a craft world because it's a dwelling, but let's like name it Cain's Peak. Some mountains there, it's all volcanic and Cain's kind of a giant fella, the avatar, isn't he? Okay, let's move up to that when you can. Select production, we're going to get Fangir's Stone Ward, which leads to the Menhirs, which is what allows you to produce giants. You guys are going to sit there. In fact, do we just take that ogre with us? It's a very nice tier 3. Big melee damage. Can also attack walls. And actually counts as a giant. But I want to keep him in there for now. For defensive purposes. Let's move forward. Serpent fellow is ready to summon for Malagus' army. Are these guys going to make a move? There's more stuff coming up. That is a hero too. Who is that? That is Urlag himself. And he sent a message to me. Carol Weakling, we're coming for you. Oh, yeah? Come on, then. We want to start summoning another Eldritch Horror. It's going to take four turns. Is there anything else here? Is it just these two stacks? There's just those two stacks. That might be a good fight for us. What level is Erlag? He's only level 5. I can't see if he's got any nice stuff. He's got a Sun Spear, apparently, that he can chuck at us. He can inflict curses. He's a guard breaker. Not sure where he's got all that stuff from. He can dazzle us. I think we take this fight. And Marka just got her Vampiric Spider, which is cool. Two Vampiric Spiders over here. Uh... Yeah, we're going to take this fight. In the meantime, I just want to look at my... How far away was this? It's next turn, okay. What are you doing now? Hospital. Going to get the morale up. You're getting an observatory. You are getting a siege workshop, okay. Let's take... Oh, can we get Lucius up to that thing? This turn? Not quite. Let's take this fight then. It will be a two armies versus two armies, but our armies are stronger, surely. Let's see what else they got. Their city garrison is not that strong. These spearmen, you can actually summon these with a with a warlord spell on the on the strategic layer with by a it takes some of your population of your city, I think. They're a versatile little irregular, but tier one, not much of a threat. They do have the war breed though. This is the other tier three warlord unit. This guy has two tier threes. Big melee damage, big defense, big hit points, really low resistance though, which is actually good for our elves with all their magic-y stuff. Has regrowth too, I'm not sure if that's specific to the orc one, like tireless. I'm not sure if these are orc specific war breed stuff or what. And a random polar bear, which is tier 2 I think, yeah. There is a dire bear, which is tier 3, which is a really strong bear, but we're going to take this fight. Very likely victory. 
Hopefully, and hopefully, uh, we're not going to spend any of our casting points. Actually, we don't have any casting points to spend with Marco in a way. Bit of a strange configuration here. We've got one army in front of the other because of the way they were arranged on the strategic layer. And if we can kill Erlag and then take out his city next turn, we have defeated him. Because he won't be able to respawn in his throne city if it's ours. You can move your throne to a different city, but that takes several turns, I believe. Okay, he has moved forward with these priests, so they need to die. Primal Scream. All orcs within two hexes get more melee damage, more movement, more resistance for two turns. And of course, resistance is a bad for orcs. What have you used? What is this thing you've got on you? Oh, last stand has been put on him by the by Erlag himself. So that's going to be a really tough orc war breed. Unless we can dispel him. Do you need... No, you don't need to get into melee range to dispel. So you might try and do that. If you move up to here, is that close enough to dispel? Not. But here should be. 50% chance to dispel him. Let's do it. I think it worked. Yay! I don't use the spell as often as I should, I don't think. Etsinia, our awesome war maiden, is I think going to charge in with Warcry up and batter this Orc war priest on her wyvern or whatever it is. Almost took him out immediately. He's now bleeding. But we're going to need the Watcher, I think, to finish things off with some melee. I don't think that's going to be enough, actually. He has big blight protection, this guy. Here's the Eldritch Horror, though. Phantasm Warrior can't get close enough. You can. So, a combination of him and the Watcher should be enough to finish off this Black Priest. Nice. Eldritch Horror is going to go in. Oh, can we dominate the Warbreed? 60% chance to dominate him. That's something to certainly consider if we can end the fight within three turns that all war breed would be ours if we can dominate him let's try okay so he's ours for three turns can we finish this fight in three turns gonna move kind of up and back ish with our storm sister if that makes sense griffin rider is gonna move up get the hell away from malgus's stench who's also gonna move up to here disgusting things as he goes by. We could use Last Stand. Because this is not Maka's casting points pool. Put it on our Griffin Rider here. Node Serpent can move up, as can these Phantasm fellas. And that's everyone moved, I think. Oh, a Warbreed can move now. We'll just defend. Can't actually walk anywhere. Oh no! Dispelled it off my... Dispelled the domination off my... Off the uh, Warbreed. Annoying. Throw Curse. Resisted. But we'll mess up the movement. Some ranged attacks on three channels. These are the spearmen, right? We really did not throw a javelin there, fellas. You threw some stones. Kind of a messed up animation there. Sprinting. What are you guys? Oh, you're monster hunters. Oh. The orc version of the monster monster has a javelin. Okay. I thought that was a spearman, but it's not. Warbreed's still in play then, and we can't dominate it again. He can only use this once. Oh, he can use it every three turns. I thought it was once per battle thing. And we can get flanks. Etsinia. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Can't really do much, so we're kind of boxed in here. Just move up with a Watcher. And take a shot. At Orlag. Can we petrify him? No. Broke his spirit, though. Which is just some big debuffs. Ma wow, massive morale debuffs. We're going to do some insane damage with that Eldritch Horror. Almost finish off that Warbreed. Hopefully the Phantasm Warrior can do so. Yes, nice. Etsinia is going to move up a bit. Get a crossbow shot on someone. Just you guys. Flanking. Armor piercing. Malgus does not want to fight the Phalanx because they are crazy pikemen. But he is going to mash up. So, Oh, maybe he can immobilize them. 45% chance. 
I think we're just going to get some damage on here. And we're going to charge in and do this. Then he's probably going to get flanked by the pikemen. Phalanx, whatever they're called. Can I shoot anything? Is it worth shooting anything? Not close enough for a stunning touch. But I can put a little bit of pressure on the Phalanx. And level up my Storm Sisters. To what? Expert level. Griffin Rider. Should be able to get the kill on the Orc Priest unless I get very unlucky with my roll. And I think we'll go for that. No! Fumbled! Morale very low. Why? Oh, you're disgusted by Malgus. Damn it. I always forget how disgusting he is. We're gonna... Do you count as a monster? Oh, damn, you do. They've, those guys have Monster Slayer. So what I'm gonna do is move up to there. Great Sword Priest, Spearman. Not much of a threat over that side. So let's teleport in and attack over here. I say not much of a threat. Watch those guys die really quick. It's in... Oh, uh, Maka. You're going to move up and not really do a whole lot, actually. Just one of your ranged attacks. 8 to 12. 8 to 11. Let's do the 8 to 12 then, obviously. Can you kill those guys? Not quite. Do that then. Node Serpent. Damn it, I have to fight the Monster Hunter, do I? No, I don't. I can do this. And then do this. And then get a flank on Uralag, or I can just kill these fellas. I think we're just going to go for the kill here. Phantasm Warrior. Just move up. And you're the only one. Here come the Phalanx out with some big damage to Malgus there. Surprised he's not being focused down. Those guys sprinting away. Get some flanking attacks on Maka, which was a nice, but she's life stealing because of that giant spider she's on. Uh oh, crit! Ow! Boom! Okay, that's a decent turn, I think. Stunning touch. 78% chance to stun Erlag. That sounds like a good deal. Nice. Uh, we're gonna use Malgus to. No, we're not. Can we just. Yeah. Is that going to work? Yay. Now you. You might have been saved by last time. We're going to move you the hell away from Malgus. You're still not very happy. Oh, because he got cursed by the priests early on. Forgot about that. We're going to get some flanking here. The Eldritch Horror can come and do massive amounts of damage to Erlag with a single attack. Wow. Marker. Is going to get the kill, I think. On that orc who tried to start a war. It's in here. Some massive damage over here. Super, super damage. Going to flank this priest with my serpent. Who else we got here? Sure, you guys can get in on the action. Who else we got? No serpent here. Kill these fellas. Griffin Rider can now get some attacks over here. And fumble again, damn it. Maiden Bleed. Watcher, can you get into melee range? Not quite. Gonna go here. And Doom Gaze. Some big damage. And that guy dies next turn. Unfortunately, we could not keep that. Would have been nice to dominate and keep that war breed. I'm not sure if we did do it within three turns. Oops, who's gonna get this XP? Let's try to level up our. Eldritch Horror here, boom. Even the Eldritch Horror is disgusted by Malgus. He's like a high elf touched by Nurgle. So down goes Erlag. We did not lose anything there, which is nice. Marker is leveled up. So do we give her floating so she can float around on a spider? Or do we just try and get another mount for her? I think I'm going to give her floating on her spider. What is this? Splash on resistance. No, oh, teleport as well, that's pretty damn nice. We'll give a float and then try and get teleport next time and then try and get inflict stun. It's in here also leveled. She's turned into quite a beastly little bodyguard. Tireless, we can give her. I think that's exactly what we saved up our points for, actually. 
So we'll do it. Yep, her egg hatched. I got that. We're just going to chill out here. Oh, some reinforcement now. Roxana the Morning Star is an orc leader. She's a theocrat. An army of spearmen. And that army in the garrison itself. So they do have some stuff here. We might need to bring Lucius up in the end. We might need to bring him up here. I could... Can the ogre make it there? He can. Because he can just walk through mountains since he's a giant. I think we are actually going to come up with Malgus... Uh, Lucius, sorry. It's going to take a while. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Six turns to get up here. But I think we're going to do it. Could be a massive risk. We're leaving our things... Uh, undefended here. But two of the other players are in a war. I seem to recall Gustav and Rautor, I think, are in a war. Yeah, so they should be occupied with fighting each other. I don't think Erlag is going to bring anything down here. And we can still work on defensive units. Going to start producing giants soon. If we get the gold for it. What are you doing? Siege workshop. I might just do a few turns of merchandising over here. Or at least one turn of it. To get some more gold. How much more would it give me? 29 more. Sure, we'll do a turn of that after that siege workshop. What do you want? Alright, you're going to chill out here. Okay. That'll do it for this episode, guys. Next turn, we might get a massive counter-attack on our ass. And we'll see if we can withstand it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.